Okay, so when we, we think about retirement planning, um, a, a, an easy way to think about this is to, to say, okay, let, let's, look, let's look forward and think about how much uh, one is going to need in retirement. So that's exactly what's happening here. So there's uh, some, some calculations that have already taken place uh, such that um, we know that 81000 per year is needed. It's going to be needed for 22 straight years. Okay. Then we also have an estimate of when the retirement is going to happen. So um, the first payment is going to be needed uh, tw- 41 years from, from today. And then we're going to go forward and talk about uh, fully funding the retirement. And so this is, a, this is a two-step problem, but at its core, we can break it down to two pretty simple uh, annuities. And so that's the way we're going to proceed. So let's just start with Let's just start with this part right here. We'll ignore the rest. We'll solve for this part first, and then we'll move uh, uh, forward and solve for the second step. Okay, so, so, so for the first, the first step, here's what's going on. And so imagine you're in retirement. Here's the need. This is the cash flow stream that is needed. And so this is a 22 period annuity, the payment of $81,000. Okay, so this is simple enough. So for this first step, so we're calling this step one, for this first step, we just need to find the present value of this, and we'll call it the retirement stream annuity. So we need a PV at time zero for this annuity. Right, so we can do that with uh, the tool of choice. I am going to use a financial calculator. Okay, so for this problem then, uh, again, we're looking for a PV, and so I'm going to enter everything else and then solve for the PV. So let's start by entering $81,000 as the payment. Zero is FV, and the reason I put zero for FV, again, is there is no time 22 cash flow aside from the payment and the payments already included in the PMT key. Now let's look for a discount rate. So the discount rate is 7% and so I'll put 7 in for I and then how many payments are there? There are 22. So 22 goes into N. So I can compute PV and I'll get this number 895960 0.48. All right, so so this is what uh, this is what we'll need at retirement. So that again, that is that is step one. Now let's go to step two. Okay, so step two. What are we actually looking for in this problem? Well, we want to fully fund this with a single deposit today. Okay, so we need a PV here, right? We need a PV. Okay. Now, for this second part of the problem then, this PV that we already created, that's going to become our FV. So that becomes FV. That's a new FV. And when is that the FV? All right, here's where we have to be a little bit careful. Okay, so the first annual payment in the retirement period is going to be 41 years from today okay so then we can think about this time right here as 41 and this is 42 and so on so we're just going to re-index this timeline okay and so what is this time zero that would be time 40 okay so that's going to be we're going to think of that as FV time 40 all right so if we get all this timing set up correctly then we end up with uh, a pretty nice workable problem. All right, so let, let's think about what this timeline has become. So we're going to forget about the red stuff. We're going to move to this new green timeline. This green timeline is going to have a single number, 895960.48. And since we want to, instead of funding it with a series of annual payments, we're just going to try to fund the whole thing today. And so what do we need? We just need the PV at time zero of a single cash flow, right? PV at time zero of a single cash flow. So let's go back to our calculator and think about how we can solve for that. So there's a number of ways we can do this. 
um, but since it's a single cash flow, I'm just going to I'm just going to do it formulaically. Okay, so I want to leave this number in my calculator. So let me just change. So I just did the the, the change sign because I want it to be a positive number, so I don't confuse myself. Okay, so here I have not re-entered this number into the calculator. It's it's stored already, and so it looks like it's got four. Um, four decimal places, but it actually uh, goes on. This is this is not a rounded number, so that's that, that's good, right? Because I don't want to contribute rounding errors to my final calculation. All right, so if that is my time 40 cash flow, I just want to discount 40 periods, and so how do I do that? I divide by one plus the discount rate raised to what power? The 40th power. Right, so I'm just going to go straight into my calculator and say divide by 1.07, that's my discount rate, raise the denominator to the 40th power, and there I have my answer. Okay, so the question is how much do you need to deposit today in order to fully fund the red retirement stream? The answer is $59,832.58.